welcome to another episode. I am here. I thought this was kind of an interesting artistic way to film my intro. <laughs> Anyhow, we have a lot going on. We've got some major book haunting happening. We have a few little blue experiments happening and uh, some kitchen planning. And alas, this morning my parents actually left. So I'm back here all on my own again. So it was really fun having them. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's crazy video. It's kind of a mishmash and it's a whole week kind of jammed into one video. So anyhow, enjoy. A bientôt. All right, we're back at a mousse looking for a armoire for the bottom of the stairs, hoping for one that maybe has a mirror in the door. Um, so, so far I'm not quite seeing one. There was one back here in this corner, which you can see just over there, the mirror. But um, it's kind of beat up, but it could work, I suppose. It's 65 euros. And uh, I think I think the parents are <laughs> pretty blown away by this place. So the problem is we need a fairly narrow armoire because it has to fit between the sconces at the bottom of the stairs there. Okay, we'll measure that one. Okay. Okay, everybody, should I go for this beauty? <laughs> New York City, wow, looks so comfy, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. So crazy. Yep, there's some really interesting stuff here sometimes. <laughs> okay, I have no words. No words right now. This is incredible. Um, wow. Um, unfortunately, wow. It seems to be closed. I know. Yep. We could have a deer. We could have my very own deer. Wow. He's so awesome. <laughs> Although he looks a little bit in pain. Like he's just been shot, but... And I really love her. Wow, I want the lion woman. Holy cow. This is incredible. It's like all the way down the street. It's across the street. It's yes. <clears throat> right. There was a man who let us in. <laughs> and here I was worried about not finding a uh, a pot with a lid. <laughs> wow. And the chickens run free. got some roosters happening over here. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a rooster fight. Oh, no, another rooster's going to get in on it. Wow, there's a lot of roosters. I always thought roosters didn't get along. There's a chandelier. 
left out in the rain to rest. <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Oh, I love this. Check out this. Hey, Dad. How cute is this little bench? Wouldn't that be fun? note marble already cut for dressers I guess wow <laughs> very sexy oh my god this place just goes on and on and on some pots for the front door I know where to come these would be cute <laughs> those are rather menacing dogs for your front entry I kind of love this mouse <laughs> Really cute. <laughs> I think my sister's laughing at me if she's watching this. She knows I like mice. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's just a little low. It's is, is interesting. It's really good. Oh, yeah, a little bit. You know, like you got, you could mm -hmm. put several tables in instead of a big coffee table. It's true. Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> the transport. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just, just to the front. Yeah. And our second brook hop for the day. The cow. Gorgeous. That's amazing. That is. I wonder how much that is. She has some nice rugs too. Look at the rugs. Yeah. And a tapestry. This is going to be a little expensive. Oh, it's kind of a great lamp. Excellent lamp. Wonder if there's a price. Wow. It's like, uh, I don't even know what that, ma that material is. Ooh, look at the sideboard. I'm loving this sideboard. This would be good for the dining room. I know, the table, I saw that too. Good big mirror there too. I know. Oh, another big mirror. Yep. Right? I did. There's another one here. Smaller, I guess. Smaller, but vertical. I like the horizontal one up there. Oh, the other room, yeah. That's a beauty. I mean, water, but uh, that is beauty. Yeah. I like this though. Sort of like a 
good buffet in the dining room. Qu'est-ce que c'est le prix pour uh, cette uh... l'enfilade? <coughs> 1200 euros. Ok. Hmm. Here's another one. I don't like it as much. It's a little. It has no doors. Which I guess you could argue would be okay, but this corner piece is kind of cool. Sconces. For 180. So this buffet is 1200. So it's the second one in the dining room. Oh. Oh, look at this. How fun would that be to have in the kitchen or in the breakfast room? Yes. Right? Oh my gosh, except there would be no counter space. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Somebody stripped it, I guess. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's some. Um... That's the trouble with it, these. There's no cash. Yeah. Ooh, I like these green chairs. Sheila, these might work in the entry room. Mm -hmm. One of two of them. There's two of them, but that's all we need, right? I wonder how much they are. I wonder, can I ask? Oh, here. Uh, can't read it. I think it's two fifty for the pair. It's not bad. It's not terrible for the green room. They're quite great. Nobody's going to be sitting there for very long. Right, it's just to put your shoes on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Too bad this wasn't a little shorter. If it was shorter, it would be good in the kitchen. There's a beautiful desk. Wow. <gasps> kind of like that desk chair. Look at this desk chair would go with my blue theme in the office. That's right. It's a nice one too. It's really nice. Does it have a price on the back? No? I don't see one. This would go with my blue theme in the office as my office chair. Right like that. I have to sit in it. Yeah, oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, but you're going to be leaning forward mostly, won't you? Yeah, but yeah, it's fine. It's quite comfortable. Oh, what about this for the entry? <laughs> well, what is that? Right? Oh, actually, that's interesting. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Um, combien pour le, le chaise bleu? Le, pour le, le bureau? Le bureau 980. Oh, okay. Le, le bureau oui. Okay, it's pretty expensive. It's like. C'est en pire. Oui, it's a period piece, so it's uh, yeah, it's. Uh, oui, un peu. <laughs> un peu. Oui. Toujours parler, hein? Toujours discuter. Oui, je, je, je sais. Vous savez. Ok. Très bien. Ok. Oui. <laughs> I like a proprietor actually tells me to haggle. <laughs> see, see YouTube. Uh, too big. Mm. Ok, we have a number of little projects going on. Experiments, really. So we thought that maybe we would try putting in a paint painting this blue into the yellow areas and thereby leaving the green and making it an easier paint project to work with. So So the thinking is that if we if 
find the right blue that maybe all we do in this room, at least for the short term, is to paint out the yellow and leave all the green. So then it would just be blue and green. And then up here, you know, we would maybe change the wallpaper or remove the wallpaper and paint the sections into a, I don't know, a different color blue, maybe a lighter blue or something. So we're just trying to work on the different blues. So this color, the first color that was just painted is this diff key blue. Okay. Let me take that brush. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Here, wipe off on my leg. <laughs> this blue would be really fun. I don't think it quite goes with the green as well as the other one. The, the gray or blue, I think, will also go well with the, um, the gray of the fireplace. So anyway, I don't know if that's a huge consideration or not, but this one would be fun to do the whole room in. And then we've got this uh, navy blue couch. I now have some more comfy to sit. So um, the thinking, my original thinking was just to paint this whole blue, whole room a really dark blue um, and make it really officey and cozy. So, but then my dad was like, why do you want to paint all this green? It's so done. It's like, yeah, well, it was probably done in 1965, but <laughs> kind of is a little tired. But maybe he's right, at least for the short term. It would be certainly easy to just paint the yellow. All right, so the second blue, the name of the second blue is Drawing Room Blue. So now, oh, so then <laughs> it just speeds along. It's a Carter trait. We go, we go fast. We do everything really fast. Sometimes to our to our detriment. <laughs> nope. Looks like I got some primer on the little stripe. Oh dear. Oh dear. Such a good idea. It good didn't idea. really work, did it? I. That's too bad. Well, <laughs> maybe I go back to the original idea of the. Uh, Maybe we paint the whole square so it's not so stripy. Maybe. It's really hard to paint the insides of the, I don't know how they did it. It's crazy. Look at the little roller. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that would have been the right tool. There we go. <laughs> The bright blue is kind of fun. I see what Sheila means. Uh, but yeah, that might work. I don't know, which one do you like better? I kinda, I'm kind of liking the bright blue now. I'm kind of liking the brighter one. <laughs> it could be fun. It okay. could be really fun. And I'm kind of liking it better. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it could be fun. Okay. Yeah. And you know, it might just be enough. Yeah. But what are you out? I know we've got all these yellow squares, right? We're just painting the yellow, and uh, so, just paint the yellow, out and then you know, and then this little thing—that's the only other thing uh, that's yellow. Oh, and, and the yellow see, on the doors. We've got some, got some, it, got some of it here. So you're going to end up painting the blue anyway. Yeah, right? yep. So that would be kind of fun. All right, jury's out, everybody. Drawing room blue, or what's the other one called? Gosh, having a brain of a menopausal okay, woman. Okay, stiff key blue. Stiff key blue, or drawing room blue. There we go. <laughs> put your uh, put your choice in the in the comments. <laughs> okay, abierto. Okay, today's other blue project is. Uh, Dealing with this paint. It is blue day. It's blue day. <laughs> dealing with this paint that somebody painted on the tiles. 
So we put some stripper on it, and now we're attempting uh, we another, round of another round of stripper. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. Anyway, it is coming off, uh, but <laughs> there's a lot of it. It's everywhere. She really liked her blue. And it's all random and doesn't make any sense. Very strange. So, there you go. Um, yeah, kind of a big, big, big job. Because, of course, every single bathroom has it. <laughs> okay, anyway, just showing you we're having a blue day. And uh, I have a kitchen installer dude, kitchen planner, coming this afternoon. So that will be fun. We have uh, kind of a plan worked out for the kitchen now. Um, but I'm a little frightened to know how much it might cost. So, anyway, we'll get a sense, hopefully. Okay, have you Okay, Sheila has set up in the ground salon. We have now two little seating areas. Very exciting. We've got this carpet that needs still massive cleaning. So, if we got a little carpet here, yeah. like that one we saw yesterday in the Brocond. And that table we saw yesterday. Oh yeah, the little glass table would I be perfect would be there. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Chloe, what are you doing? The princess. It's like she the princess on the couch. <laughs> she does love her velvet. She looks like such a princess on that couch. It's hilarious. She just knows it. Like, I look regal. I meant, I was meant to be on this couch. It's my best. <laughs> Um, all right wow it's coming together slowly so, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then we've got a little seating arrangement here and it would be nice after you have maybe four yeah get rid of the bed that yeah okay it's been an exciting and quite long afternoon um the guy that came from the kitchen place um, really sat for three and a half hours and we sort of planned out this kitchen all together. So this is one of the renderings he did based on the floor plan. So this is the main part of the kitchen with the, the stove. It's a U-shaped kitchen. We're pushing the fridge out. We're gonna fit a, a broom closet behind there. Um, the only uppers are here for holding food and whatnot. Um, these are all drawers that pull out and hold food and what yada yada. And then obviously I'm hoping to build sort of a fake kind of fireplacey looking thing here. And um, yeah. And then this is the breakfast room around here. We've designed some more cabinets there, which are these. So kind of not dissimilar to what's there now. Just uh, again drawers that pull out. There's sort of smaller drawers inside to hold all the cutlery and whatnot. So this would be meant for um, dishes and that kind of thing. And this is the other angle from uh, of the kitchen, with the stove here in the hood. And now we're looking at the sink under the window and uh, dishwasher. So, and this is the plan, kind of the floor plan. So again, main kitchen, this is the U, this is the stove, here is the cabinets in the breakfast room, sink, dishwasher, this is the existing sink, dishwasher. I think I'll use the, I think uh, the plan includes using the original sink that's there now. Um, so I'm hoping I can repair it and resurface it the way you do bathtubs. So that's my next bit of research. <laughs> And then um, my dad made the good suggestion of pushing the fridge forward and creating a broom closet here. So that's what that is. And then this is a picture of the breakfast room with the sink there. So yeah, it was all really, uh, really good. The price came in and uh, honestly, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be. So I may just do it. He could have done it kind of at the end of May but of course, I have to go back to the States for my visa thing. So it'll probably happen now in July. All goes well. So we have a lot of, of work to do to get the kitchen ready for this. Um, so I'll be talking to Tomas this week to figure out a plan for that. 
Anyway, all good news. A bientôt. Bon voyage! <laughs>